Hi, I'm Nina Sopley. I'm a therapeutic storyteller and I make junk journals and I work a lot with children and young people who've experienced trauma and I would like tonight to take you through some of my thinking process around how I begin to make my journals. So I've got a couple of versions here. I, okay, this, this one is a book that I found and started to do a little bit of work in and nowhere near finished. So uh, I found it and I decided that there's going to be a pocket here. They're hand stitched. At some point, I guess I'll maybe go through how we do hand stitching. That's it, stitched in the middle there. And I covered the back over with an old comic. I love using old comics. I really do. I don't use enough of them, I think. Uh, some lovely old vintage papers in here. Old stuff. I did start putting something in. I'm not quite... I kind of... I don't know, I lost it with this one. I need to come back to it. I will come back to it and it'll get, it'll get finished. But it's actually a really good example to show you what they look like. Now, before I'd put anything in them, this is what they look like. And at this stage, I kind of panic a bit. I get really stressed. And I think, what on earth am I going to do to this book? There's so much still to go in, and uh, and it's at that point that I need to stop, and I need to breathe, and relax, and remind myself that nobody is pressuring me into making anything. I don't have to make anything if I don't want to. It's a little bit like when somebody sits down to write a poem or a bit of creative writing, and they're looking at the blank page, or maybe an artist looking at a canvas, and they think, where am I going to begin? And you have to remember, first of all, I have to remember, first of all, that I'm doing it for me and not for anybody else. And once I remember that and let go of any other thoughts, then I'm able to begin. This is a book that I've done quite a lot to, as you can see. And this is also one that I looked at and I felt really overwhelmed. And I thought, how am I going to fill all these pages? And I remembered that I don't have to fill any of the pages if I don't want to. I can just leave it blank. But I do want to fill them. And once I start, I stop worrying <laughs> and I start dreaming. And as you can see, the words are a great jumping off point for me. There's a lot that's been done in this book, but there's a lot still to be done. I love these two pages. They're so textural. I don't know if you can really see how textural they are. I've used uh, moulding paste and lots of lovely ink, um, some crackle paint and pages and oh I love it. This page hasn't been inked yet. So this one's finished but this one isn't. So I need to do work on that. This might be finished. I kind of like the simplicity of this. I love this page all on its own. Uh, this was a fun page to do. Um my last video you uh, saw me being delighted at one of uh, a wrapper from an old soap bar. Well, this came from an old soap box, um, and I just love the pattern. I found it in a charity shop for very little money, like fifty p, I think it was, for the bar of soap. And this gorgeous box, and I bought it for the box. I've still got quite a lot of that left, so I'm looking forward to using it. 
uh, this page needs finished. There's definitely stuff that needs to go on around here for me. Um, what else? Um, this page was made up of one of my ephemera pages, like I showed you in the last video, where I wove some pieces together. I made a, a piece. And then I just stuck that onto the page. So that was quite nice. Um, I really like these steampunk type things. But this page needs finished as well. Um, in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I will show you something. This is my pot of... I love this. I use it all the time. So, I have a very messy table today. I'm going to show you my table. I've just finished making some stuff. This is my very messy table. Always a cup of tea. Lots of stuff lying about. I like my messy table. Uh, so, a bit of gesso on my finger. And I just want to fill in some of the gaps here. It's too clean looking for my liking. I don't like it looking clean. I like it to be a bit fuzzy and a bit messy. And uh, I love this steampunk thing, but I want to mess it up a wee bit. It's too fresh. So, yeah, that's quite nice. I like that better. Yeah. Put it down here. And it just takes some of the edge off. Um, I'll also, for me, getting my fingers dirty um, and using my fingers rather than a brush, I find that element very therapeutic as well. Um, I mentioned at the start that I work with children and young people who've experienced trauma. And I have my own lived experience of trauma as well. And when people are recovering from trauma, quite often an element is a desire to feel control. Um, I feel when I've got the pain on my hands, I'm more in control of what happens to it. It's very much a part of what my reason for using my fingers and not using a brush. It just works for me. The paintbrush feels too separate from me. Um, people who've experienced trauma need to have a sense of control. There's a difference between that and being controlling, which isn't necessarily very healthy. Um, but if you have experienced somebody being in control of you for a long time, then you need to feel that you can gain some control back. And that's just one element of therapeutic work, working with trauma-informed way. So, I'm liking the mess it's making. I'm liking the gesso right now. The gesso is basically paint with a bit of glue in it. Um, and it just creates a bit more texture. It makes it tacky. It means I'll be able to put some ink on these if I want to change the colour. Um, so, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. That'll do for now. Okay. Just so back to the paint again. And um, 
as you can see I, I like to use threads down the side um, I found this woman on Etsy who sells these wonderful bundles of threads oh it's the best and uh, these I love to use them I think that actually looks quite nice on that page so maybe I would do you see how I'm very intuitive Problem with a messy table is that you can't find anything sometimes. I'm very intuitive with how I respond to things and see things. So just showing me that made me think this colour looks good in there. But as you can see, there are so many different textures and colours. Uh, these are fun to work with. And I, I like to frame my pages. So, um, I actually like, I might leave this page here like this for somebody to journal in. And this one too. This lovely old letter. Uh, this was an envelope that I just stuck onto the back of the page. That can contain something. And I love to make books within a book. Quite fun, but this one I actually forgot. Oh, yeah, I did something different. Oh, look! Ah, magical! It holds right open. Yes, fabulous sign. And it has a feeling of. This, old, this is a very old sheet of paper, but I glued another sheet of matte paper over the top and added some more stuff. Um, using this colour is interesting for me. person or a floral person until I started to junk journaling and then all of a sudden I started to love flowers and butterflies and this beautiful, it's very, very healing. I'll glue that in somewhere along here later. So, um, that's giving you a, a bit of an insight into what I've got going on here. Um, and at some point, probably quite soon, this one will start getting worked on. Um, I'm, as you can see as well, I, I don't work page, page by page. I don't start at the beginning and then work my way through. Absolutely not. I am not structured in the way I work. I open up the journal, I look at the pages and I think, what is attracting me tonight? What, what do I feel like adding to? What colours are drawing me in? For example, this needs something inside it. I don't know what yet. So if I feel like using inks then I'll finish that page or work on that page. So there's no structure to it. It's just whatever I feel like. And even pages that appear to be finished. Sometimes I look at them and think I just need a little bit more I can do. So I think I'll leave it there for tonight. I hope you enjoyed that little video. Please do leave a little comment if there's any suggestions or thoughts. Um, I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you again soon.